You may have heard the Sigma Lambda Gamma chapter here on campus, but you may not know how much they truly are involved here on campus. To learn a little bit more about the organization as well as their event tonight, our reporter Kaylee Chatton is live from the Marty Theater. Kaylee. Thanks, Dylan. I'm here at the Marty Theater with Katya, a member of the Sigma Lambda Gamma National, I'm sorry, I just totally messed up the name, the Sigma, Sigma Lambda Gamma National Sorority Incorporated here at Bradley. I had to get that right, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us today. Now tell us, for those who are unfamiliar with this organization, could you give us a brief summary of what it is and its role here on campus? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Sigma <clears throat> Lambda Gamma National Sorority Incorporated is a Latina founded sorority, but it has multicultural membership. And its role here is to basically create the safe space for marginalized people, and especially since these spaces aren't created for us. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, could you give us a little summary about what the um, sexual health panel is happening this evening? So basically, this is our very first time having this panel, and it's just to bring awareness to sexual health and prevention. And we're having two panelists who are, one of them, their specialty is to bring prevention and awareness to the sexual health, and also another who has lived uh, with HIV and their experience with it. Oh wow, so, yeah. so why do you recommend people attend this, this um, I think it's a taboo sometimes when it comes to sexual health and sometimes people don't have those conversations earlier on and since we're all college students like some of us may be sexually active and some of us may not but it's always good to educate the, the community. 100% yeah. totally <laughs> agree. Now what are some other events that your organization holds? Uh, we host a lot of like um, events for like the Latinx community so we have our events during for the Latinx Heritage Month mm -hmm. as well as just our empowerment banquet that we usually have the second semester so spring semester and like fundraisers and everything cool so, yeah. mm -hmm. and what other interactions do you guys do with other Greek organizations here on campus uh, we try to collaborate with other organizations through their events or we just show up and like show support especially since like when it comes to like the Divine Nine and especially for our other um, multicultural organizations, so, yeah. Nice, and what's one of your favorite um, events that you've attended so far, um, would you say? I'm sorry, I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> You're totally fine. Um, so basically this semester we had our Loteria painting night and it was so much fun because we just all made like Loteria paint nights, which is like a game that uh, we, we play a lot in Mexico and overall, <laughs> so yeah, that's good. Totally. Now we got about a minute left, and mm -hmm. what what would you say is one of the highlights or one of the main reasons that made you join this national sorority? Um, I think once I got here to campus, they like welcomed me with open arms, and they were all like mentors to me as well. So they helped me grow a lot, um, and I just wanted to do that as well. So for like the undergrad like the first years and all of that. So they, they really helped out. It's a great way to get acclimated. All right, well, unfortunately, that is all the time that we have this evening. But thank you so much for joining us. Reporting live for BUTV News at Marty Theater, this has been Kaylee. Back to you guys in the studio.